Hello guys and welcome back to another episode from the BMG Modding Tutorial Series and in today's episode we're going to take a look at the flex bodies. Well, what are flex bodies? Well, flex bodies are used to display 3D models um, for your yeah J beam and they're called flex bodies because they flex the 3D mesh or 3D model according on how the J beam or rather the nodes underlying um, yeah move. So the 3D model also deforms and that's basically how we actually get that yeah, visual deformation in BeamNG. Alright, well first of all we gotta have a 3D model to even put in the game and to you get one or to create one you would usually use blender uh, yeah it's the most popular 3d um, yeah, editor and it's also free so it's the best free one there are other um, paid modeling softwares that do some things better than blender but just just use blender it's good enough for anything you'll do and yeah in here I've just made a little 3d model of just that back part here with that slope on it and yeah it I'm not going to explain blender itself um, that would be kind of out of the scope of this video um, yeah if you don't know anything about Blender at all, or 3D modeling, or anything like that, I'd uh, suggest checking out a video about that. Um, yeah. Alright, now there are just a few things that are um, special to BMG. First, um, you need to have your the origin of your 3D object to be at the world center. And also the rotation and scale to be yeah, at standard, so rotation of 0 and scale of 1. To achieve that, to achieve all of that at the same time, you just press Ctrl A and then all transforms and it will do that. Obviously nothing's changed now, but for example, if we had changed some of this and then press Ctrl A, all transforms, it changes those transforms back to normal. And yeah, so let's give it like this. And we're also going to give it a material in here. It also ha already has a material. I'm just going to rename it like that. And we're also going to rename the object. All right. Um, to have some further info on uh, BMG specific things in terms of yeah how you should model and what to watch out for when modeling just only like what's important for exporting then you can check out that linked video and yeah just select whatever you want to export then go ahead to file export then Colada and I'll see yeah, then you just select this selection only. Then apply modifiers. If you have modifiers, you want yeah, to have them applied so they, they show up. For example, for vehicles, you usually use a mirror modifier because most vehicles are symmetrical. So yeah, you don't want to have only one half of the vehicle appearing in BMG. Um, you don't need to include animations. And let's just give this a name. and hit export all right now we can copy that over and you might have noticed that I've moved something I moved um, the project from the mods folder it was just previously was in mods unpacked and then right in here but I've moved it to the vehicles and there it is right there um, it's yeah 
it's uh, it works a little bit better and you don't have to reload the mod yeah, you can just reload a thing in game like you can see I reloaded it nothing's changed and that is because we haven't declared any flex body in our jbeam yet so let's go ahead and do that so here we are in our jbeam file and let's make a new section called flex bodies wait what there it is and let's see the header i'm just going to copy that right here there you go okay now it's going to explain what all this means first of all the mesh is just the name of the mesh whatever you gave it uh, gave that name in blender so in this case tutorial v2 underscore body there you go then the group is something also pretty important i mean you have to have it and that declares what kind of what group of nodes this mesh will follow or according to what nodes it will deform and move so let's just create a node group in here in the node section group and let's call it yeah I'm just going to call it the same thing and then if you want to end a group just leave that empty and now these nodes after this line will not be in the group and what this now means for us we can put this in here I hope it's right yeah it's right you can put this in here and this will now mean that this mesh here will only move according to those nodes and not these because these nodes here right here are all in this group and that's what we assigned the flex body to you can also have multiple uh, groups for one flex body or multiple flex bodies um, with the same group so maybe we had a different mesh here and we could use the same group for that we use groups or groups are used because we want only well certain 3d models for certain parts of the vehicle to be affected by those certain nodes we don't really want the I don't know let's say the front bumper um, deformation change something about the, the 3d mesh of I don't know the wheels or something that is obviously a separate part from each other and they should also um, yeah have separate 3d meshes all right I think we are good to go let's copy that over you can by the way see it has automatically generated a main materials JSON file right here you can open it up already you can see it has automatically imported that material that we made in blender right here and that we have assigned to our mesh and yeah everything about materials you can find in this video right linked linked right in the corner there so yeah let's go ahead and there you go well ignoring the fact that I placed it the 3d model on the wrong side we're just going to ignore that um, yeah it seems to have worked and you can see if we move this around the 3d model follows I mean we can't see much deformation right here and that's actually another thing now that notes our beams uh, connected to these nodes have been broken. You can see those red ones and this one as well. Right there. Um, BMG will dynamically delete different faces from that 3D model to make it look like it ripped, ripped, 
ripped apart. Okay, maybe if I go back here and just... It's easy to deform, so... Yeah, let's see. There you, there you go, you can see when we deform these nodes, you can see that deforming as well. But if we deform this right here, it does not have any effect on the 3D model because those no nodes are not in the group that we assigned to that flex body. Alright, that's actually already it for that tutorial. Um, a little bit simpler than most other things, but there are obviously some extra things. For example, let me just show you something very quick. For example, you can change the position of a flex body. For example, right here you can see uh, there's for a wheel and a wheel hub a flex body. Uh, yeah, break hub. And those are usually uh, modeled at the very center um, of the 3D space in um, yeah the modeling software and then because these meshes are used by multiple different vehicles they are then positioned after the fact individually for each different vehicle or different part so that's why we have these different options here and you can also see on the other side of vehicle right there you can see that's that's right that's left it also gets rotated 180 degrees all right well that's already it for today's video i hope you guys learned something new if so don't forget to subscribe to not miss future episode episodes of the series like if you liked dislike if you didn't and let me know what you would like to see improved. And yeah, i see you guys again in the next video.